Okay, everybody, this is a real quick tutorial on how to export into Word and then upload back into the Dropbox when you're done. If it goes too fast for you, just watch it again. First, you got to open up an internet browser and go to the classroom, classroom.google.com. Then you click into the class you want. Don't be confused. I put this temporarily into a different folder so that you wouldn't get it just yet. So you're going to click into the chorus folder that belongs to you. I'm going to click into 7th grade music right now because that's where I hit it. So you click into your class. You look and you see the assignment right here. Right here's the assignment. You see it says substitute day assignment. I'm going to open that. And then it says the assignment right here. I'll click on that. And there's the Google document version of it. This is the one that you can see right away. Now, if you like using Google Docs, that's great. Go ahead and just type in your answers right here. You know, you can click right here and, and just start typing your answers if you want. Double click. You see that? I got a cursor. I can start typing answers. So I can say what that means. If you're going to do it that way and just type out your answers, that's just fine. If you want to draw pictures on here, I am personally a visual guy. I'd like to see pictures just like is in the video. Here's what you're going to do. You're going to go File. You're going to download as a Word document. And you'll see that as soon as you click that, it'll start slinging down a download for you right down here. Now you are done with this Google version if you're going to do it in Word. So you can X right out of the Google version. We don't need that. I'm going to open up now the Word version instead because Microsoft Word has a drawing tool on it and it'll make you happy. You're going to enable editing and then you're going to go in over here and you're going to read your directions and stuff like that and let's just say I went through the video and I'm watching the video and I see how to do single measure repeats and I want to draw on here how to do it. I'm going to click review I'm going to click Start Inking. And then I can pick a color. I would rather see it in a different color. I don't want to see it in black. The guy used red. I'll use blue just to be different. And then I can say, OK, well, my directions for having to do this one are I need to just zing back over here and repeat this measure. And I would just draw that on there. I'm going to click Stop Inking. I'm going to go a step further for myself. Just repeat the measure. Just repeat the measure before it. Okay, so even if I want, I can highlight that if I want, or I can change the text color or whatever I want to do. There, now I did both. So now I know what to do exactly. When you are done with this assignment, so here, one more time, let me just show you about the inking. I'm still inking. I've clicked the pen. I draw the ink. I draw whatever I want to do with it. And then after that, I can stop inking, and I can go in there and put the text in if I want to. Double click to get in there. Start inking again. When I'm done, I'm going to click File. This is important. Save As. Because if you click Save, all it's going to do is put it back in your Downloads folder. So I would click Save As and put it in whatever folder you're using for Chorus. You see right now it's saved in Downloads because that's the way that you recorded it, is a download. So I would save it as whatever you're going to save it as, and then go back over to the classroom and say, add. You're going to upload a file. You're going to select it from your computer. Go to where you put that file. Right now it's in the Downloads folder, so I could just go ahead and click Downloads if I wanted to. And right there it is. I can say, put that file in there. Upload it. And now when I click Turn In, see that? New Documents on there. I'm going to turn it in, and it'll tell me that I'm going to turn in 
the Word version and the Google version. I don't care if you leave the Google version on there. You don't have to. You could exit out if you wanted to. Here. You could just say, eh, the good version is the Word version, so I'm just going to dump this Google version. I'll turn in my Word version. Turn it in. And then you will see, you'll get a green, happy, done. When you go back to the assignment, it'll also give you a green, happy, done. And that's your confirmation that I have gotten it. All right? Well, let me know if you have any questions, and good luck.